What's going on everybody? It's LSU Maniac coming back at you for another little break. And today we're going to be taking a look at a new release from Panini. And this is actually going to be the debut edition 2022 Panini Capstone. So not sure uh, if this has been in prior Chronicles releases or not. I think I'd heard somebody saying this is kind of like the limited Panini limited. But this is actually the first time I've seen this set. And I got to be honest, man, looking at some cards on eBay and seeing the singles, I tell you what, man, for the price point, this doesn't seem like a bad buy at all. And as you can see right here on the front, we're going to get two autos and two memorabilia cards per box. Mr. Tatis on there, 12 packs in this box with eight cards in a pack. We got some more ultra rare inserts to chase. We've always been pretty good on this channel at finding these ultra rares, but we got the blue steel and graffiti inserts to look for. Turn it around over here. We got 20 parallels to unwrap. And overall, guys, I think it's a nice set. I think I paid 115 bucks for these. I think that was the price. So just a little bit over a hundred bucks. Yeah, it doesn't have the logos, no license. It's a non-licensed product, and I know folks just, certain folks can't get past that. But if you can, Panini is always fun to rip. Beautiful cards. The only negative with Panini, there's a couple of them, I guess. A lot of times you can get shorted on hits, and their redemption system is absolutely horrible. Absolutely horrible. I've never received a card from a redemption from panini but anyway guys here we go 2022 panini capstone let's check it out and see what this is all about and see this is what i'm talking about guys right off the bat it's just a gorgeous card it's got a refractor sheen to it mr colton welker there very thick card stock I mean, that's like a 35, 55 point, probably 55 point card stock. There's a look at the back. Got another image of the player. One year of his stats with a career line. A nice little write up and that kicks it off, man. I think this is one to stay. It's a really, really nice card. We got a thicky coming up in here. And here is these, I don't know what they call them. But you can see it's got a different look to them. Mr. Alex Verdugo, they're not numbered. And then we got us a red coming up, Mr. Javi Baez. Reds are not numbered, but it does have the parallel. So that's one of our parallels, probably one per box. Got the baseball in the back. Just a gorgeous card, man. Really, really nice looking card. We got a Summit insert, Mookie Betts. Cool looking insert there. Velade rookie. There's a red rookie of Rodolfo Castro. And let's turn it around and see what we got. New Age Materials, Manuel Margot. And this Castro. There's another red, I guess. He's been in everything this year. But a gorgeous card, man. Gorgeous, gorgeous card. And the New Age Materials. That one is not numbered as well. Two little napkin pieces. So one hit out of the way. All right. Pack number two. Mr. Ben Attendee. Riley Adams, rookie. Raffy Devers, that boy just got paid, didn't he? Man, he got a serious payday. Marcel Azuna. There's my boy Kyle Tucker. That's another red. There's those two per box we get. Man, I forget what they called them. I read the checklist over well and forget what they called those. Rowdy Teles, Sean Murphy, and a new age, Mr. Soto. So another insert. Man, they did a fantastic job with these. 
you really don't even hardly notice the no logos. It's just a very well done set in my opinion. We got another thick one here. TJ Friedel, Friedel, however you say that guy's name. There's another red of Salvador Perez. Deja Vu, Buster Posey. Check that out. Man, it's got Adley Rushman on it. That's pretty cool, man. Rookie card of Rushman with Buster Posey on it. Another very well done insert. There's a nice Seiya Suzuki rookie. We'll put him in a good pile. Mike Bowman. Jose Siri rookie. We got a Trey Mancini. And let's see what this next one is. Might be an auto. Chicago. That is our next, that's our second relic. That's almost like a piece of his sock right here. And a jersey piece. Mr. Greg Dykeman, straight out of LSU. Would love for him to start catching fire and really making it. Greg Dykeman. So both of our relics are out of the way. Still looking for two of the autos. Lopez, there's a rookie, Brandon Marsh. Otani. Ryan Piput, if you see however you say that. Vidal Brujan, rookie. That's a red. Taylor McGill. Key Brian Hayes, is that a gold or something? That one is not numbered as, at least I don't see any numbering on it, but cool looking card nonetheless, man. And we got another insert, Big Bang Christian Yelich. Moving right along. Might have us an auto here. We'll move out to the back. There's Cedric Mullins. Scherzer. Velo Shane Baz rookie. <clears throat> Excuse me. Nice young pitcher there, McClanahan. There we go, Bobby Witt Jr. We'll take that all day long. Put in a good pile. Romy Gonzalez. Juan Adon. And let's check this first auto out, y'all. Crown. Looks like a position player. Ronnie Dawson for the Cincinnati Reds. It is a sticker auto. And that one is base as well. But I'll take it. It's not a pitcher. Ronnie Dawson of the Reds. All right, this pack marks halfway. Pretty big auto checklist as usual. But that is to be expected with any release these days. Alec Thomas, rookie. Another nice one there. There's our second Castro. Otto Lopez. We got a Brian Reynolds. Eli Morgan. And a new age of the Quan Master. Moving to the other side. I'm going to hold that auto. We'll do that one at the end. There's another Adon. Another Lopez. Mr. Jesse Winker. Back-to-back -back Jazz Chisholm. Edward Cabrera. Justin Turner. And a crest of Mr. Judge. All rise. Man, I'll tell you what, this is a fantastic looking set here. And for the price point, man, you just can't beat it, in my opinion. There's another nice rookie, O'Neill Cruz. Greg Dykeman again. 
the red O'Neill Cruz. There we go. It's starting to heat up. Turner, Hoskins, Charlie Blackman red. And a Justin Verlander Velo. Don't know that I've seen any uh, parallels yet. Three packs to go, y'all. There's my boy Breckman, straight out of LSU. Jeremy Pena. Let's go, baby. Another Greg Dykeman. Trevor Story. Dylan Cease. That's another one of those gold looks to it. Not numbered, though. He had a fantastic year. And then another Seiya Suzuki. New Age. Louis Robert, Drew Ellis rookie, Burns, there's a Taylor Rogers, that's another one of those reds, we got a Cedric Mullins, Gold, nice Juan Soto, Aaron Nola, straight out of LSU, babe. And a Deja Vu, Killer Brew, and Pete Alonzo. All right, our last pack. And then we're going to check out that last auto. It's been a pretty fun one, man. Perez, Ramirez. Where is the J-Rod? Can we find him? Alex Bregman. Aaron Ashby. Gabriel Arias, rookie. And a big bang, big meat, Pete Alonzo. All right, y'all, to finish this one off. We got a Tony Centillion. Garrett Cole. A summit of Nolan Arenado. Tucker Mancini, Fidel Brujan, and Jesse Winker. And last auto to finish this break off, y'all. Who we got? We got us a catcher. MJ Melendez is who it is. So two position players. No huge names, but still a fantastic rip in my opinion. Didn't get any parallels, so I don't know if that's a common thing. I haven't ripped a lot or haven't seen a lot of this stuff ripped. But man, overall, just a gorgeous put-together set. Really, really nice set, in my opinion. I'm curious to hear y'all's thoughts, guys. Let me know what y'all think of this set. Did y'all go out and buy any? I will have a couple of these boxes to rip in the Facebook group if you want to join some of those. The link is always in the description below, guys. That's going to do it. If y'all don't mind, please leave me a thumbs up, and I'll see y'all on the next one. LSU Maniac out of here.